What's up everybody, it's me, Jeremy Threat, and today we're gonna be talking about something that everyone loves to do. Running. Okay, maybe not everyone, but a lot of people. I, for one, am one of those somebodies that loves to run. I've ran a lot over the years. On most of these runs, I had some tech on me. A cell phone. Maybe in my pocket. Slaps your leg. You hear it? Holding it in my hand, oddly tucked in my waistband of my shorts, but mostly in an armband. Along with some Bluetooth headphones, that was as teched out as my runs would get. There has been many times where I considered getting a GPS smartwatch for the purpose of tracking my run info. But because I ran with my smartphone, I didn't really feel the need to invest. Very long story short, as long as I've been running, I've never used a GPS smartwatch until now. Better late than never. This is the Garmin Instinct Solar. This is the perfect smartwatch for me to use as an introductory point to GPS smartwatches. Why? Well, because like you, I've worn watches most of the days of my life, like all the time, like every day. It's like an accessory that has to be on my person. I have plenty of different styles and fits, and even some that are athletic style watches, though I have never ran in them, ever. I love that the Instinct Solar is a lower tech option that uses buttons. So it's not the most daunting leap from a plain old digital timepiece that we're used to. When I say low tech, I don't mean it's lacking anything that won't help you take your running performance to the next level. I really only mean that its user face is not touchscreen based. To me, this is a luxury watch. Not because of price or fashion, but based off function. As for first impressions, I gotta be honest with you. I love the freedom of not having a heavy, sweaty arm strap. A phone, plus a phone case, plus an arm strap, plus sweat from your workout equals added weight to one side of your body. I'm used to wearing armbands during my runs, but I gotta admit there is slight discomfort at times, especially on the longer runs. There's other solutions like a run pack and et cetera, but we can go over that another time. During my runs, getting real time notifications on the watch is pretty awesome. And it definitely seems to motivate me because the watch chimes and it vibrates at every preset distance and time markers. I've only recently started tracking my run info. Prior to that, I just ran to feel great, physically and mentally. The Garmin Instinct Solar has encouraged me to run without music more often. Having the ability to track my runs without the phone means no music, which is fine when you just wanna focus in and enjoy the run. As for battery life, at about two weeks of use, the Garmin Instinct Solar prompted me to enter power save mode. In power save mode, the watch went from three days to five days of remaining battery. With power save mode activated, there is no GPS features, body monitoring, activity tracking, or smart notification. It pretty much just becomes a cool regular watch in power save mode. After all, it's called the Garmin Instinct Solar. Yes, solar charging. So as long as you're out in the sun, on a run, having fun, your battery will recharge itself. With the Garmin Instinct Solar, some people may choose to bring their smartphones along for the journey, the run, the hike, the bike, because this is a smartwatch, but it cannot make calls or notify people in case of an emergency. I am so glad to have been introduced to the wonderful world of GPS smartwatches by the Garmin Instinct Solar. It's packed with information and insight that has definitely helped me improve my running performance. Not only that, the lifestyle applications have been pretty awesome as well. Receiving text messages on the wrist is pretty clutch. Give me a break, I'm new here. I've never had a watch this smart, so here's the start. All right, y'all, it's been great, it's been real, but I gotta go on the run. I'm Jeremy Threat, and for more great deals, head on over to the new egg app and check out all the tech. All right. We're good to go. I'm off.